how can I approach girls if I'm an introvert? This is one of the most common questions I get asked. So today I'm gonna to show you how to successfully complete it and what it looks like in action. If you didn't already know, I am on a mission to successfully approach 30 girls over the course of 30 days and I'm documenting the entire thing on this YouTube channel. And if I don't successfully complete 30 approaches by January 31st, I have to give away $10,000 to a random stranger on the street. So subscribe to see if I make it to the end of the challenge. I should probably get out of the street now. We're on a little sunset walk right now. It is day five or day six of the revolution. I'm losing track of the days. Our man has the daily challenge right behind the camera. I'm ready for it. Let's see what it is. I'm actually curious which one it is. I hope it's an easy one. Okay, pick up girls. As an introvert, the rules are must wear glasses, have to say I'm nervous during the interaction, and must have my hands in my pocket for 90% of the interaction. How long are you guessing for today's challenge? An hour. An hour? I will say 40 minutes. If it's over 40 minutes, I buy you dinner. If it is under 40 minutes, dinner's on you tonight. Deal? Deal. We got a shake on it. I think you're gonna need these. These are literally the ugliest glasses I've ever seen. <laughs> We're gonna start the 40 minute timer now to see who's gonna be paying for dinner tonight, but I have a feeling we're gonna cut it close and when I'm in the actual interaction is when the timer's gonna go off and I'm gonna have some explaining to do. So timer starts now, let's go. I'm honestly a little concerned because it's dark and it's already the evening and usually the success rate goes down a little bit because people are usually on their way home from work or on their way to somewhere important. So I don't know how successful we'll be today. These are literally all smudged. I can barely see all of the lights. <laughs> Are like blinding me. <laughs> I can't even tell my supposed to approach him. I can't even see a girl. 27 minutes, 40 seconds left. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hello. I saw you. I thought you were cute. Oh, I wanted to come nice say to hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Benjamin. Nice. Are you coming from a workout class? Uh, no, I was just on a walk. I was just on a walk. I like the jumpsuit. Thank you. Thank you. Would you call it a jumpsuit or does it count as something else? Yeah, it's a jumpsuit. Looks like an athletic onesie. <laughs> it is, but yeah, it is. Cool. What are you up to for the night? I'm about to go cook with my friend. Italian, but yeah. I have a hot take. What's your hot take? I don't like Italian food. I was in Italy for a month in August and I, I left early because I hated the food. Wow, that's crazy. That's one of the craziest things I've ever heard. I like New York pizza better than Italian pizza, which is probably even worse. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, well, uh, I'll let you go on your walk and go cook, but it'd be cool to get your Instagram. Maybe we can hang out sometime. Sure. Is it bad that I was actually nervous when I saw you, but I was like, I have to approach her. I have to say hi. Nice meeting you, bye-bye. All right, so 16 minutes to spare. You know the deal. I hope you're ready to buy dinner. I'm thinking we are gonna eat something nice tonight. I think we're gonna eat something very fancy, very expensive. I think the moral of the story for today's video for my introverted guys is that you gotta own whatever it is you got. If you feel like you're more of an introverted guy, then just own it, just rock with that. Because the truth is, if you try to put on a facade, if you try to pretend to be someone you're not, it's gonna come off as inauthentic, it's gonna come off as phony, fake, and the girl is gonna sense it. She's gonna smell it from a mile away. Women are a lot smarter than people give them credit for. When it comes to social situations and social IQ, the average woman's social IQ is 10 times higher than that of a guy. And that's precisely why putting on a front, trying to be Mr. Personality, trying to be super extroverted if you're truly just an introvert is a losing strategy. This is why with this challenge, I wanted to do a video in a bit of a different style where you see me being a lot more relaxed, a lot more monotone and maybe even boring than I am normally. But the truth is the hardest thing for a guy to do when he's in front of a beautiful woman is to simply be himself. And the reason for that is because once he's in front of her, all of his insecurities bubble up to the surface. He's afraid that she's gonna see him for who he truly is. And if you're afraid of a woman or anybody for that matter, seeing you for who you truly are, then you have some inner reflecting and soul searching to do. Why aren't you comfortable with who you are? Why is it bad for someone to potentially make a bad judgment of you before they even know you? Throughout this series, you've seen me get rejected a handful of times already. I keep them in there to show you that nobody is immune to rejection. I've been doing this for years and I still get rejected regularly. It doesn't affect my confidence because I don't 
take it personally. And perhaps the biggest lesson to take away if you are an introvert is to stop identifying with the term introvert. I want you to think about this. Let's say you're a computer programmer. When it comes to your job, talking about programming, talking about computers, would you say you're introverted? Would you say that it's something that's hard for you to talk about? You find hard to relate to people on? Would you say that you feel insecure and confident around those things? Absolutely not. When it comes to things that you feel comfortable with, when it comes to things that you feel knowledgeable about and that you really know, then you probably are more extroverted than you are introverted. You could talk about it all day. You can speak about it confidently and it won't hurt your energy level. That is because the introvert, when he's put into a social setting, he doesn't feel like being himself is simply enough, which is why I say, if you're an introvert, literally just be normal. Being normal and authentic is a lot better than being Mr. Charismatic if it's inauthentic because once people detect fakeness, it will repel them. So at the end of the day, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, you got to rock what you got. You got to own what you got. And most importantly, you have to be unashamed, unabashed, and unapologetic about who you are because once you carry that energy into interactions, there's absolutely nothing anybody can do to you. And if you want to be able to meet women under any circumstances, regardless of how you feel, click the link below to access my full system and over a dozen real life breakdowns of me approaching girls in person. This course is honestly one of the best things that I've ever made. And it's the exact process I used with hundreds of introverted guys in my private coaching program to get them to break out of their shells and be able to successfully meet and attract women without having to change a thing about who they are. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next challenge.